Good morning. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I'm gonna follow up free sandwiches. But... <laughs> so our thought of the day. Um, in our society, we're given a lot of messaging, um, and that messaging can often distort the way we encounter or embrace the world. Um, when we're little, in elementary school, uh, maybe your teacher had a star chart, and that star chart, you were given stars for reading the most pages or having the best behavior. And in that, we were taught to compete with one another. We were taught, if I do well, then I'll get more stars. Um, we're continued to talk the messaging of me when we're told, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. If you work hard, you'll succeed. It's a very neoliberal mindset that we're told all the time. It's a mindset of me. But here at Homeboy, we're encouraged to embrace a mindset of we. It's countercultural, it's powerful. The we no longer exists, in fact, it never has. We've always been part of the we. And so in the spirit of that, I'd like to invite up someone who um, is my daily teacher. Uh, she's a beautiful friend. Um, she teaches us all that um, for self-care, we're embracing community care. She's one of my personal heroes. So allow to elect the haze in the spirit of we will do the family.
they're also impacting those around them. And that's the spirit of we, is we're always giving, but we're always also sharing. We're always also inspiring. And that's what we see here every day, is the becoming process, the consistency of reciprocity, the vulnerability in that. So when you enter this space every day, and you think, I'm here to become better, know that we've had many graduates come through these doors. We've had many people embrace their dream jobs. But while they were here, they were also leaders. They were also inspiring. And that's the spirit of we, is understanding that reciprocity and connecting with one another. So thank you for being here. Thank you for teaching us every single day. We wanted to close with a poem. Um, this poem is over 50 years old, but it resonates because it shares with us this wisdom, this wisdom of kinship that has continued throughout the ages and that we have here every day. So um, also, in the spirit of unlearning and learning, I'm going to be reading in Spanish. I grew up in an era of assimilation, so I'm learning. In La Quech, tú eres mi otro yo. You are my other me. Si te hago daño a ti, if I do harm to you, me hago daño a mí mismo. I do harm to myself. Si te amo y respeto, if I love and respect you, me amo y respeto yo. I love and respect myself. Thank you, everyone.